We talk about opioid overdoses daily. They are a daily problem that can turn deadly. In just the last week, there were 35 overdoses in Summit County. That's an average of five a day. News 5 anchor Frank Wiley talked to a funeral director who says the problem comes in waves, Frank. Yeah, guys, it just keeps coming. That funeral director told me even when overdoses are fatal, it's not enough to scare people clean. Addicts visit a casket one day and end up inside one the next. Calling hours dig up some of the sickest skeletons. You can tell those that have dabbled. They're suffering in body and mind. Opioids fill their veins, sometimes just days later. No one's promised tomorrow. Their bodies fill caskets. This epidemic has grabbed every age group. David Moore runs H.B. Moore Funeral Home in Akron. He sees it, waves of bodies waiting for a service. Even death can't speak to a living addict. Kids aren't supposed to go before their parents. But some do. Some users are in too deep. They've carved out track marks that lead to the grave. When you have one, you might get two. You might get three. Families have hope for a user's fingers to drop the needle, but David feels it and loved one's prayers. Families become almost numb toward the end of a person's life that is going through this. He says the person folks once knew is gone. The drug it changes you. I mean, once you've started, even if you're able to kick the, you know, the addiction, you're a different person. To cope, sometimes the sober bury a part of their own faith. And medics in Summit County are seeing a spike in emergency room visits Thursday and Friday nights. Most common age group, 25 to 49. Danita.